okay guys in this video tutorial we will learn that how we can transport the data from simulink into the matlab as we know that simulink is a part of matlab but obviously the matlab coding is some bit different from the simulink because simulink is based upon the blocks while pure matlab is based upon the coding so first we will make make a module or a circuit within the simulink and then we will transport its data to the matlab environment for it we need to write simulink in the command window it will take some time because it is a heavy part of the matlab now the simulink is opened up now we will take anything like some sine wave module like this or you can write like that sorry so like this just like sign and we will get all these modules okay now this is our trigonometric sign function so we can click on that okay now we got this in our simulink model now we will again go to the library browser and we will write constant now we will click on this constant and we will add it to the simulink it will act as the input for the sine wave block now we will take a scope okay. and we will copy the scope like this and now we have all these three basic components scope trigonometric function and constant now we will connect first the constant with that of the sign and then with that of scope so now we will run it and now we will see that either some sine wave is there okay although this is just this is not giving us sine wave but at least it is giving us a straight line or a like you can say that a, a data some data points so we will go to the this this setting uh, button and then we will go to the history and we will check this box that save data to workspace so scope data and we will write here like uh, uh, trial trial zero zero and format must be array format so we will apply and we will press ok now we will go to the matlab and we will see that either it is here or not so okay we we have to run the simulink module as well okay so it will give us some data okay now here we can see that our data is in the workspace but how we can use that okay we will just write trial zero zero and we will why it is so because this is trial zero zero variable in which all the data is stored so we will click on it and we will got this thing like as you can see that we can also plot it like plot of trial oh sorry it is trial zero zero so
here you can see that we got our line which is just like this scope data line so now here via this method we can transfer our data from simulink to the matlab so hopefully you got the concept so thanks for watching